You know, I'm politicking with the homie Poe with Poe Politicking. Self-help meets hip-hop. That's fucking beautiful. What up, Poe? What up, DJ Period? Just two black brothers. I see y'all out there doing what y'all do, preserving the hip-hop culture and introducing the future stars. Keep shining, kings. Real and recognize real. Love is love. Salute. Yeah. PoePolitikin.com all right, man, you already know what it is. It's Mike Johnson Jr. HCM is the gang, man. Dare to die. And I'm right here with Pope Politicking. Boy. HCM is the gang. Politicking.com, your home for self help meets hip hop. Make sure you go on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, type in Pope Paul Ticket. This is my interview since 2008. One, two, one, two, and place to be with Mike Johnson Jr. How you doing? I'm all right, man. Yourself? I'm good. And they're like your real name, too. <laughs> uh, it's his real name out there, folks. You want to you know something deep? You know, um, I used to go by the name Juggernaut. Uh-huh. Um, early days, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I had to do something. I had to change something, you know what I'm saying? When I was juggernaut, I was doing my due diligence, performing and whatnot. I did battle as well. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, I battled T-Top before he had got found by Smack. So, you know, I got a, I got some type of um, history with a lot of hip hop stars, I would say, or people that were major in hip-hop. So I changed my name. I'm like M-I-C Johnson Jr. I'm Michael Johnson Jr. Mm -hmm. That's me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, And then I didn't want to... Man, listen, I ain't want to be in the box. People hear Juggernaut, they just hear fucking shit up, destructive. <laughs> what if I wanted to sound... What if I wanted to sing 
Uh, <laughs> yo, Sal, Juggernaut? He's singing? Ugh. Mm. His name Juggernaut. Oh, but your Twitter still say Jugger MC. I just noticed that. Exactly the point. It's just for, it's one of those things, you know what I'm saying? Those that's been rocking with me since before I made myself known as Mike Johnson Jr., Jugger MC is everything mm-hmm. about me as far as a tag. You know what I'm saying? Juggernaut, the MC, that was my thing. You know what I'm saying? So I still keep that as a moniker. For those that know me as Juggernaut, y'all got my heart. If you didn't know, know Juggernaut, Mike Johnson Jr., he'll, he'll give you everything. You know what I'm saying? So Juggernaut, Jugger MC is just everything. Man, every social media there is, Jugger MC. Even my my gamers, PSN, Jugger MC. You know what I'm saying? So just just know. <laughs> I hit you know. Bro. Yeah. So what's your, what's your uh, where you from? Um, I'm from Rochester, New York. Uh, born and raised in Rochester, New York, upstate uh, New York. Um, 19th Ward. I would say most people would say the west side of Rochester. Um, so that's that's my foundation, man. Rochester taught me a lot. Granted, you know, I've 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 lived in different places. I've I've lived down south before. I lived in Cali before. You know what I'm saying? I I've, I've definitely grasped a lot, but it, everywhere I go, it's like it's no place like home. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird for me. I love I love my city. You know what I'm saying? I don't I might maybe not like a lot of the BS that happens in my city, but as far as everybody that's eating, everybody that's doing their due diligence to follow their dream, I love my city for that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's where I'm from, man. 585. Was born back when it was 716. Remember that. <laughs> So what's your earliest memories of hip hop? My earliest memories, man. You want to know something deep? So I was in that, I would say, my mom Dukes. My mom Dukes, she's a hairstylist. You know what I'm saying? So she was, when I was young, 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 she was doing her due diligence working in that Atlanta um, escape hair salon. You know what I'm saying? So that was back when Ludacris was actually a host. You know what I'm saying? He was just hosting on radio. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't realizing I was hearing Ludacris every day. That was weird. You know what I mean? But the biggest memory I have, realizing who Biggie was. Um, My dad had the radio blare. Me and my brother, we like, what, probably like seven or five. And that, um, that joint, that Puffy, Mace, and Biggie joint, that that uh now who how who not tell me who dropped who sell out in the stores i didn't know who else who was on there but biggie and biggie when biggie first came on we had so much fun but i was captivated by everything biggie was saying hey the time out you just started off with mace verse though when you said you ain't heard nothing but biggie so you heard mace too I can't let I you mean, like that. Sure, when I grew up, when I grew up, I started understanding a lot of things. You know what I mean? I know that whole joint back front to back, but I just can't. I just I don't want to misquote what the song title is. I just wanted to say that part. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I want to misquote that. I just knew if I say that part, y'all gonna get it. <laughs> you go, you go get the gist of it, but um. I, all I remember was Biggie Park coming on and me, my brother, and my dad, we just started dancing. We just started vibing out crazy. <laughs> and that was the, that was probably one of the best times. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got that Diana Ross uh, sample on it. You know, like, I think, you know, that's probably why we was, like, really vibing, vibing to it. Like, it was, like, feel-good music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that 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 captured, you know what I'm saying? Um, and while I was down there, I was, you know, I was heavy in the Nation of Islam. Um, we would, you know, go to the mosque all the time. We were, I was junior at FOI at one point, you know what I'm saying? So that, we, I had a strip upbringing, but that day is a memory for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was like, 
It was like freedom. Like, you know called, what I'm saying? Y'all called the Holy Ghost, huh? <laughs> you feel me? Oh, Through hip hop, though. We was wild. We going crazy. My pops, my pops doing a biz marquee and joint. Like, man, we just having fun. It was like the dopest thing ever in life to me. And um, I would say another time would be uh, when I came back to Rochester from being in Atlanta. Um, it was a lot of Rochester. It was a lot of gods. Nation of gods and the earths was heavy. Um, it started out with my uncle. And my uncle gave the knowledge to my pops. And my pops, we was already in Islam. So it was like, he was feeding us everything that he was learning. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we'll be in the house playing Mortal Kombat. I'm not knowing that it's ODB in the background, but the song is so fire. Ah, oh, well, baby, I like it raw. I'm mm-hmm. like, this, this is fire. So, like, you know, it's weird. Everything has to do with either fun or a video game with me. There was another time. Rakim was the main person. And I only remember Rakim because of the Sega handheld that they had out back then. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I had Sonic Tetris and we was going to Darien Lake, but it was raining crazy that day. I, we, I don't even know how we made it to where we made it to. But I just remember, you know what I'm saying? Microphone fiend. That's all I remember. It's like hip hop. Hip hop is 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 really deep. I guess all I can say is hip hop gave me the best moments of my life. And then, uh, you know? you, so that's that's why I'm here. That's, say it again. No, I'm saying. So how did you get into the game? Um, I got into the game basically. It's in the back. Um, I got into the game, honestly, through my cousin, M, INF, exclamation point. Shout out to my cousin. You know what I mean? HCM is the gang. But, uh, yeah, it was like, I was probably like, what, around eight? You know what I'm saying? He older than me. He about like four, probably like four or five years older than me, F was. And, um... It was already getting heavy into the music. You know what I'm saying? Working with my bro JD Riggs back then. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the bro. Um, but on the way towards Harlem, uh, where my uh where most of my family was at. Went to go visit down to them in the car. There was instrumentals playing. He had a he had a cassette tape with instrumentals. All of a sudden, he's freestyling and he's teaching me how to freestyle. I'm enjoying it, but I didn't really, you know what I'm saying? Back then, I didn't really, um, really, really take it too serious. I was was like, oh, I can I can do this. You know, um, later in life. I started. um, Using that skill for like class like public speaking classes or projects, you know, just probably write a rhyme or, you know, I was always excited when I had to write a poem in English, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. Um, but when I would turn 15, I made a conscious decision to keep a notebook. Two years after that, my cousin put me on my first song called Face Facts. And he was amazed. That's that's to, still to this day that that it, that messes with me right there because it's like I I was just trying to be great as I know my cousin to be, and what I was, was hearing from him it was like everything that I ever heard from artists that I love to research. So he was like feeding, you know what I'm saying, and he offered put me on a song. I just wanted to do justice and everything. I'm spitting the verse and I'm trying to, I had to put on a voice. I <laughs> had to put on a voice back then. I had to try to make my voice deep a little bit. I, people don't know I had like a Mickey Mouse voice when I first, when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? So put the voice on, I did my verse, boom. 
All I remember is everything turned off. It was three people. My boy, uh, Hooligan Easy. Shout out to him. Gang shit. Uh, Inf. And one other person. I forgot who that was. But all I seen them was just jaw drop. I'm like, did I do good? <laughs> I don't <laughs> <laughs> Did I do okay? I said, that was phenomenal. Oh, okay. I'm not like y'all though. Y'all too fire. Like I need to get like y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I would say that was my first first introduction to high caliber music or being introduced to them. And later on in life, when I actually matured, Riggs reached out to me. JD Riggs reached out to me and we started building and ev everything was history from there. And it's funny because he was always at my family functions because he was always with my cousin. Inf. He was always around me, even when I was a kid and I never knew it. <laughs> I'll say it's the so it's I actually started that first. Hmm. If you want to be technical, um, when I started keeping a notebook, my thing was just about verses. It was everything about verses. I wasn't really focused on song structure. I didn't know nothing about that at that time. I just knew I had to say something to make people feel what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So um, I used to just write multiple verses just in case I had to be in a cypher or just in case somebody wanted to rap or I just wanted to show that I was an MC. Um, so I went to, when I went to college in uh, North Carolina Central University, I was in uh, Durham, North Carolina. And um, my friends was basically, you know, telling me, yo, you, you one of the nicest. Like, you need to, you need to do something. I know somebody that, you know what I'm saying? They trying to do battles. So I linked up with them. Um, the first battle, I ever did the like on camera battle. I went to T Top's hood. I had to get a ride there and all that type of stuff. But I had drove to his hood. You know, everybody that was with me is college kids. They don't know nothing about battling. They don't know nothing about hyping me up. All of them is scared because we going into a whole new place <laughs> that nobody ever been to. But hip hop, for the sake of hip, people, was telling me not to go. For the sake of hip hop, I can't. No, as being an MC, it's like no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going, and we went four rounds. Like you know how it is back then. Like if they asked for another round, this was like 09, 2010. So like if they asked, if they asked for another round. That means something couldn't have been decided, and they needed overtime. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but they was trying to clown me. My name was Juggernaut, and they put an X under the end of my name. They wasn't trying to change nothing. So they was, but even on the comments of that one, I had, back then I had Down South and New York split. And that, that took me, you know what I'm saying? So I had three other battles after that, smoke everybody. And those wasn't, those was recorded. But for some reason, those was never put out. Mm. I don't know why, you know what I'm saying? So, but basically I started with battling. And then when I came back home from North Carolina, I just really wanted to focus on the artistry. Um, so me, I would say with battling, I got back into battling last year. Um, shout out to Onsite Battle League, uh, Rochester, New York. Um, they was basically trying to scour for talent. And um, basically, they said, "Who you? Who y'all want to see on the stage? Who y'all want to see battle?" A lot of people been in various different ciphers with me as Juggernaut, and I just made my name change to Mike Johnson Jr. But a lot of people was tagging me. I got like a good three to what, three to five people tagging me, like I want to see Mike Johnson Jr. Mike John. Okay. I ain't want to get back into battling because I, I like to build. I don't like to break a brother down. Mm. But then I had to had to realize in order to actually build, you do have to destroy and weed out. 
So I got back into battling so I can learn myself. And on top of that, it's a growth pattern for me and whoever is involved. If my opponent, I, I battle because I really rap. I'm not a battler per se, though. You know what I'm saying? I just love to be outside with all of the MCs. This is how I am. <laughs> so anything that's how I got in the battle yet? Say that again? Yeah, anything crazy happen to you? Like you ain't got no fights in there, have you? No. I mean I have I have had one person duck me twice. You hey, know? You did what? One person, you know, ducked our battle twice. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Well, shout out to him though. But um that's about it. You know what I'm saying? And it was, nope. Yeah. Never showed up. And was talking a little bit too spicy. And I'm the person that, I'm not, I'm not the type of person that like to talk crazy. I give credit where credit is due. But at the same time, I know my skill set. And I just like to have fights where my back is against the wall. If I have fights where my back is against the wall, I can learn something about myself. Ooh. But I also want to teach somebody about themselves as well. So that's how this is. You know, so I got a, like a different outlook. Loaded Luxi was actually said it best. He said, if you do not want to see who you truly are, battling isn't for you. What's your record? My record? Yeah. In my eyes, I'm undefeated. Oh. <laughs> I haven't had one, not one loss. However, if you want to place it uh, in different people's perspectives, um, shout out to my guy Lex Luther. Um, I had a good debatable with my guy uh, RT Rubber Tongue on I Battle League. Um, that was a great debatable. He had a lot of rebuttals, so that was that was that was a great matchup. Um, Due to the fact that my opponent in Verbal War Zone, shout out to OG Chosen, uh, Charmaine Fire, the Misfit, King Sprite, you know, they 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 held me down and got me uh, on the spot battle with somebody that I do definitely respect. Uh, shout out to Taj Millie as well. Uh, but I did an on the spot battle, you know, not necessarily preparing, didn't have time to prepare, but on Verbal War Zone, they battle on, on a beat. That's my element. You know what I'm saying? So I would say that one, I didn't get to practice or anything like that. So it's a lot of things, the way I performed it, I didn't get to get it out the way I wanted to due to the fact of the lack of practice on the spot. However, there's no excuses. He was more cleaner than me. I had better content in my head, but he was way more cleaner. Than me. I can see where people say that he got that. Other than that, I smoke everybody. <laughs> yeah. uh, I actually had uh, like a couple, like I think probably like 10 years ago, I interviewed Sue Surf. Mm. But I would say, guess who's the, uh, I'm going to say, you said you never lost. I'm going to set up somebody with you. He's the guy, um, I actually, he's my number one guest as far as who I interviewed the most on the show. Who? Sirius Jones. Oh, that's my, that's one. That's one right there. Yes, that's I'm, one right there. He locked up right now, so when he come home, I'm going to line him up for you, so see how that go. <laughs> ah, I'm with it. I'm with it. And the serious, I won't go disrespectful. I wish you the best. You better, you better, you better handle your handle. You know what I'm saying? But when you, when you come home and you want that, I'm here. And hey, what about that, uh, man, you got to get on that caffeine, that URL. What about that? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, me and battling, I'm not necessarily, I would love to be on URL. I would love to get, go through all of that. However, it's not necessarily my main focus. My main focus is the artistry. Well, I just that, love. I blowing up though, the caffeine app. Yeah. That's that cool. caffeine app is doing numbers and it's bringing people back. They yeah. just had Lady Luck on the stage battling again. They had, man, listen, they, they doing their thing. And Reed Dollars is coming back. There's a lot of people from the old era that is but, maintaining. Her, I, I, her I was saying, like, a lot of them people, a lot of the older people coming back, though, 
That shit kind of like, I look at you like basketball, man. You old head, you can't just hop in and be trying to play against these young cats sometimes. So a lot of them are losing. More of them are losing than winning to me. Yeah, some, some of them, you know, some of them didn't have an, uh, um, kept up their training even after it started their with Joe time. Bunch. Like Joe Bunch, we tried to come back a long time, a couple months, a years ago. That was horrible, but great in itself. Because here's my thing: if Joe Button would have prepared in a different aspect, or had people in his corner to let him know about the different aspect, he would have won. His bars was phenomenal. His performance was garbage. Hollow's performance was phenomenal. Some of his bars was, eh. but that's just my point point of view of it. You know what I'm saying? Cassidy. Yeah, I was, that's what I was about to say next. You, you got it. Mm mm. <laughs> that first one, okay. First round versus Goods. That was phenomenal. He should have cut that short though. He should have cut that a lot short, short, short. Because the rest of that, he was looking shaky. And then with Art, with Arsenal, can't you can't you can't have can't have a man, grown man, shaking you like a like a bobblehead on stage. That's that's not a good look at all. Arsenal literally had. Man, it's not like you playing two hand touch, that man. Net going, no, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, 40 Cal had a good comeback. What about, I think, Jay Mills? He didn't do another one. He did that one, right? No, he did another one. He I did the one versus K-Shine, and then he did another one versus uh, Enes. It was the re rematch. Oh, that's right, yeah. That's a toss-up, though. That's like Ortiz versus Chuck Liddell. <laughs> I ain't trying to say it like that. Honestly, but. though, honestly though, Jay Mills started learning. He did everything that he didn't do with K Shine. He actually did with Enes, but it was kind of like he should have took Enes first to warm up. He should have to warm up and get into the mode where that people loved him from. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But he's like, you can't be. Huh? On- that's what I'm saying. These, I mean, I know they like they've been doing it and they paved the way for it, but you still been you ain't been active with it, so you can't just hop in and think it's the same way when you was doing with it. Anybody? Yeah, these young cats eating their ass up too. They're like shit. But I want to mm-hmm. see Remy Martin gonna get back in it. Cool. Wait, Remember, say that again. We need to get Remy Martin and Lady Luck to do one. Oh yeah, not nah, Lady Luck just battled Miss Hustle. Yeah. Yeah, I like Babs. I like how Babs doing the Queen of the Ring. I love how she. I love how she made her, made her stamp. Mm-hmm. She really made her stamp. Shout out to Babs. Like Babs, Babs, she did her thing, doing that and making a, a outlet for the ladies. Like that's so fucking fire to me. You know what I'm saying? So like that, that she she carried it. She carried it the right way. And on top of that. Boy, I seen a freestyle that she had did. I guess I think I think it was a Sirius Jones freestyle. You know, when Sirius Jones back in the day when he was doing the uh the freestyle sessions, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Posting them up, got bars, I think that was what it what it was called. And um man, listen. That one, Babs bodied everybody on it. That I feel like Babs still got it, if even if she wanted to step in that ring, Babs will be able to mutilate. But yeah, I like I like that she, shit too because like that's some shit right there where like like you got like I actually had Mavis Stallion on the show so I ain't trying to diss her but you had Mavis Stallion you got Mavis Stallion you got City Girl yep. you got Mulatto yep. they can't get no shit like that. <laughs> like you gotta cover some bars to be on some shit like it's that. Only, it's so, only it's only it's only a cer- it's a certain type of you got to be a certain type of person. You know what I'm saying? They even step into that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, granted, as far as skill level, you know what I'm saying? You would say like somebody like a J. Cole can step in the ring. It's just that that take, 
he'll have to be in a different type of zone with himself to even do that. Like people talk about Drake going in there. I feel like Drake will cook if he get in the ring, but he'll have to find out how he can translate. Yeah. To people. yeah, he's a good performer, so it might work for him. You feel me? Music. I always make this comparison. Music and battle rap is almost the same thing. You mean battle it's rap? Almost rap? the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Battle I rap. focus on. <laughs> Say it again. Battle rap and wrestling. Yep, yeah, that's what I don't like about it. Uh, I don't like I don't like the fakery. I'm not a I, I, I'm a person that live in my truth. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why you know what I mean. Like everything is about growth with me. Everything is about learning. It's about building. You know what I'm saying? I don't honestly. I kind of don't even know how to rap to just rap rap. Everything I do has a purpose. <laughs> Some people was gifted with just being able to rap. Like just, 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 <laughs> that can just go. Like that. You can just go. You can go rap forever. Yeah. If you let him, if you let him, shout out to Snoop too. That's 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 the dog right there. That boy, he's he's nice. Uh, when you nice, you can't you can't. It's undeniable. You know what I'm saying? But it still don't mean that you don't have to work on your craft. And I bet you, Snoop haven't let up on him working on his craft. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's the type of people I like to look up to. The people that work on themselves. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie. I think Meg Thee Stallion might be able to get in the ring. You know what I'm saying? She might, she got, she got that. She, she'll be one of those disrespectful type people in the ring. She gonna disrespect crazy. Well, she, just, <laughs> she just came out with the song rapping about Tory, um, talking about Tory Lanez that she on the Who Shot You and, and, and sampling Who Shot You. That was yeah. that was. I was like, that ain't Rock Nation. I don't know who it is. <laughs> there ain't nobody about Rock Nation telling her to do that shit. I was like, oh shit, she got to get greedy. That was. That was. That was. I mean, granted, you know, I guess she had to say something. Yeah, Play. <laughs> you know, granted, I guess she did have to say something or make a record about it due to what Tori died put release. You know what I'm saying? But that was all right. Yeah, I did. That was all right. I was all right. It sounded like just the first the first half was about him. I wish the whole song she should have just rapped about that shit. Nah, she wasn't going to. She wasn't going to. She was hinting. She was hinting at certain things, but like she wasn't. It's like it's like it's like when you have a situation, you gotta you gotta grow. That's yeah. like my project is called Growth Spurt, man. Growth Spurt. It's all about growth. You know what I'm saying? Certain people know how to be stuck on a situation. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of people know how to just stay stagnant, just be stuck in a a situation. And you know what I mean? Sometimes stagnant, being stagnant, you can be stuck situation and feel stuck or you can just be too comfortable you know what i'm saying it's it's, it's, it's two ver it's two levels it's always a different perspective in everything i mean if y'all ain't catch up by now i'm always i'm an over analytical thinker i always think about mad shit the left and the right the yin and the yang <laughs> It's always a duality with a lot of things. So I I just try to understand. And, uh, you know, what? Meg tried to make a, a lot of things understandable with that who shot you. Oh. <laughs> so what else you working on right now? Um, Right now is just, shoot, it's just finishing up everything for my uh, project, uh, Growth Spurt. Um, the first single is out right now. Head Nodders on all platforms. The Head Nodder, um, produced by JD Riggs. You know what I'm saying? That high caliber music. That's the uh, CEO of high caliber music right there. That boy is vicious on the beats. And I swear to God, that was one that I had fun with. Um, if y'all want to check out that video, um, I have a short clip at the end of the video of Inf, INF exclamation. Uh, one of his songs off of Instrumentals 2 called Headshot. Um, you can go ahead and go to YouTube for that. And 
instrumentals too is on all platforms as well. Um, but yeah, man, that growth spurt is basically the focal point. Um, I actually have a battle tomorrow um, for on site battle league as well. So I'm, I'm getting that together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's a closed room. First time being in a closed room with no crowd. And that is wonderful. Y'all need to test it before y'all walk in there or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got everything under control. I already had my test. I'm so negative. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that in a positive way. Yeah, but, no. yeah, I'm... <laughs> no, because I'm just saying, like, you know how that shit's spreading now. He talking about, they got us with lockdown out here. Now he talking about you got to stay in the house from 5 to 8. I mean, 8 to yeah. 5. I mean, 10 yeah. to 5. Mhm, mm -hmm. like and that's that's another reason like it's it's happening you know early um and it's only the battlers only the battlers and people recording uh so they 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 understand on-site battle league definitely understands so shout out to tom tom shout out to clem um they definitely understand shout out to dirt or die as well my bros um they understand that just, we can't do crowds too much, especially with this stuff spreading. But you know what I'm saying? We trying to give the city something, you know what I'm saying? Something or give people opportunities. And um, my bros, my bro Steams, uh, Steams from uh, We Go Hard, I would say uh, if he was up on uh, URL, I would say Chess's brother. Chess brother, uh, Steams that he came in the game with. He's about to be one of the guests that's watching in on these battles as well. So, you know, they 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 do it. They do everything that they can in their power so they can give opportunities to a lot of people. And I'm just grateful. I'm here to actually get the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So, while I'm doing the battle stuff, getting the music stuff right, and I feel like it's everything. Everything is going the way it needs to be. Um, I got a video on the way soon, but you know, I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> so it's for another single on Growth Spurt, but um, Growth Spurt, man, that joint, that joint. If you loved like Supreme clientele's the the only built for Cuban Lynxes, like those those albums that. It's just an all the way playthrough. Mm. That's one of the things I try. I, I I did my entire best to try to provide, and in 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 my eyes, every song can be played. There's not one skippable song. And another thing is, you know, I got everybody that's in high caliber music with me. You know what I'm saying? So we got we got we got the whole gang on the project. I wanted to show my foundation. That's about that's a part of growth, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't necessarily grow unless you have the foundation. You know what I'm saying? You can't 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 build the structure of the building and the foundation ain't there. <laughs> you know, so that's that's what it is. It's the foundation. This is the foundation mark. And I I'm 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 appreciative. Uh oh, my grandbaby, my grandbaby coming to me. <laughs> Yeah, I got I, I I got I got a lot of family. I got a lot of family. Shout out to my wife, Ebony Johnson. I got I got I got I got five kids. I got two grands. You know what I'm saying? King. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, so you know, this that's what I'm about. It's about family. It's about moral, morals, growth, being righteous, being as righteous as you can. You know what I'm saying? That's what each song is about. And, you know, throughout the time, I'm slapping rappers with lyrics, you know? <laughs> so it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. And I'm, I'm proud. I've worked hard on Growth Spurt. It's like my whole entire life on a project, my first, first project to be coming out. So 
telling you, man, you're going to have to watch out for this one. Because <laughs> Riggs going to be knocking you on the head. J.D. Riggs knocking you in your head with production. My cousin Inf knocking you in the head with some production. Man, listen. Got my uh another person from the gang, uh, KXL, knocking you in the head with production. It, it's going to be it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We got, we got, what we got? We got Hooligan Easy on the track. We got, we got Inf on the track. And if y'all like that legend joint that's on Instrumentals too, y'all gonna love the joint that's on Roadster. Um, I got, got my sis Shea Blue on there. Got my sis Raina. Um, got my sis, uh, uh, Emmy. Got my bro Trail on there. I got my bro, uh, Got my bro uh, KXL on there for a hook. You know what I'm saying? Got uh, Hondo Luck on there. You know what I'm saying? And I might have I'm working on some things. I can't disclose too much, but I'm trying to give a gem to hip hop. If I could put this in the universe, that's all I want to do. I just want to put something great into the universe that I feel is great that came from my heart. So there, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's that's the that's the gist of it. And at the end of the day, I try to do everything to where, you know, if you don't feel it, it's because there's a it's a soul going on. Cause I try to, I try to hit the soul. Every one of these songs, there's something in the song that helped me grow as a person. Mm. So that I'm not doing any song. Like I said, I got to do stuff for a purpose. The thing is, if it helped me, I can help somebody else too. You know, I think that's what the job of an MC is. Just go back to the Rock Kim days, the KRS One era, the Drew the Damager, the CL Smooths and take it back real quick. I swear to God, I wish I was born in the golden era, though. I ain't no old. I feel like I would be outside having the most fun in the world. <laughs> just rapping. Uh, what? I step out, go to somebody block, just to rap. What? What? I wish I was around. But I got to try to maintain that essence that I fell in love with. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's peace. It's peace. I enjoy this. I enjoy this a lot. Yep. But yeah, man. What's this? Mm hmm. So what would you like to say to your fans and supporters? You kind of said a lot already, but. <laughs> Listen, Sid, this is when, 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 when I got, when I got somebody like you, when I got somebody like you to actually talk to and build with. You get you get you get the whole nine yards. It's the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? Top to bottom, knowledge to born. You're gonna get everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause that's I love, I love that's just the authentic. You know what I'm saying? So I would like to say to my fans, thank you. My fans and supporters, I would like to thank you. I literally do a lot of things um for my personal growth and the fact that it's receptive to my fans and supporters because they've been through similar things. You know, we all, we all, a lot of us is unique, but we all the same. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm appreciative of that. And I always love healing. I like healing myself. So if I can help other people heal along the way, if I've helped you heal, if I'm helping you heal, or if I'm just helping you find out that that hip hop is still here, I love you. <laughs> That's it. I love you. And I, I'm very appreciative. And wait for growth spurt to drop. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. Like I said, you go get that. The Head Nodder. All streaming platforms. Mike Johnson Jr. The Head Nodder produced by J.D. Riggs. You know what I'm saying? HCM is the gang. Man. I, I just I love my family. I love this music. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming through politicking with me 
Man, it's about politicking. What are we supposed to do? You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate you though. I appreciate you for having me, man. This was this was this was definitely like it's something that actually it hit it hit my heart actually here that you were wanted to build with. So I'm like, oh, oh word? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's over. It's over. So yeah, much love, much respect to you, man. And be prosperous. Keep on attacking. That's what I'm gonna try to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we gotta gotta be on the same wavelength, man. Gotta be, you know what I'm saying? You, gotta, you know what I mean? Too many, too many people stagnated around this piece. You know what I mean? And let's be clear: if you haven't been chasing your dream during this pandemic, you are stuck. Yeah, that was my thing. If you ain't been doing that right now, you a fucking zombie. Yeah, like, like, nah, son, nah, son. Focus. This is the time we, you locked in. Focus on what you gotta do for you, your soul to be happy. You know what I'm saying? For your growth. Yeah, what's your you name? ain't do none of that. You just withering away. <laughs> I'm saying, what's your social media? All social media is Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Uh, I'm Jugga MC. That's J U G G A K uh, M C. My bad. I almost spelled Juggernaut all the way through. So again, that's J U G G A M C. Uh, that's at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm a gamer's PSN. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's everything, you know what I'm saying? For my spiritual people, you got like things like CoStar or, you know, you know, charts or whatever. I, I'm even on there, Jugga MC. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. What? You know, positive. Huh? What website? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like, it's this thing called CoStar. You know what I'm saying? CoStar. It's other things too, but um, basically helps you get your chart. You know what I'm saying? Your astrology chart, your birth chart. What aligns you with you, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes that's linked with a lot of people's social media. So mine's is Jug MC on that. I ain't changed not a, not a damn thing. <laughs> so yeah, you know. So yeah, almost any play, any social media platform there is, I'm on there as Jug MC. <clears throat> that's where you can connect me at. And if you want all of the great music, go to thisishcm.com. Uh, that's where Gross Bird will be dropping uh, as soon as it's finished. And you can go and listen to masterpieces like uh, my sis Shea Blues, The Check-In, or uh, my my cousin INF Exclamation Instrumentals too, or even my bro JD Riggs with uh, God's Gifts too. you know? We got a lot of material. We got a lot of things for the culture that is going to be wonderful. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is HCM.com. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. Shout out to HCM is the gang. Shout out to Dirt or Die. Shout out On-Site Battle League, man. Everything upstate, everything Rochester. Rochester, New York, man. This is the home, man. And thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank, thank you, man. The Poe Politic and Show is brought to you by RapperTShirts.com home of the official Poe Politic and Merchandise. From face masks to tees and hoodies, order yours today. Thank you for listening to the Poe Politic and Show, your home for self-help meets hip-hop. Subscribe and become a member of our Patreon for the exclusive content.